So the front here has a really lovely zip bag which is super handy for transporting it around and I'll just show you how to set it up. So all the pipes for the top are stored inside so it's, that is your kind of unit that you need to transport around and the legs are collapsed under themselves um, to pop those out there's little pins here do that and it's as simple as that to pop the legs out and then these will pull out that's a spark arrester which stops any kind of big sparks jumping out the top of the chimney this one's got the the vent which controls the air flow in and out so that one goes in first and then you can make this as tall as you like with the idea that the smoke goes up the chimney and away from you rather than you being smoked out around the campfire all night And that's as simple as that with regards to setting it up um, and now we just need to light it. So as you can see I've shortened the chimney um, so you can see what's going on at the top um, and I've preloaded it with some small logs, some kindling and these fantastic little natural fire lighters which work really well. Um, we tend to use smaller logs in here, that one probably won't fit because it's got this funny knobbly bit um, but the good thing about this fire is you can load it from the front and you can also load it from the top on here um, and it does fit um, reasonable sized logs in there um, but it's quite handy to carry an axe as well just in case you do need to chop any down. <laughs> just lit and you can see that it's already taken um, and going quite nicely so we'll let that burn for a little bit longer and then add another log on the top. probably notice in all of our videos where we're showcasing equipment is that it is used. We will only ever talk about and push equipment that we've actually tried ourselves for quite a while and we really like it. So this isn't a perfect stove, it's been really well tested and well used. Um, so yeah not quite as shiny as it was when it's new but that's the whole point of a fire. So next I'm going to do some cooking on top of the fire. Um, this fire is not only great for keeping you warm at night, for keeping the midges away, um, but also for actually cooking your dinner on. And we've done all sorts of things on the fire. Um, probably the most common thing is pizza, which we cook in a frying pan with the lid on. And then for the last few minutes, we just take the lid off to crisp the top. Um, nachos, uh, we've warmed chips upon it. Um, but this morning I'm going to cook a full English, well, 
semi-full English breakfast. It's going to be a vegetarian breakfast. Um, and yeah, that'll be the first time that we've ever done that. So we'll see how it goes. There's a couple of ways you can cook on top of this stove. You can either cook with it where you have the, the lid off and you have the pan directly on top of the flame or you can put the lid on and then just cook directly on the base of the stove. Um, it cooks a lot quicker with the direct flame on the bottom of the pan. Um, the only thing you just have to bear in mind is that it will um, cover the bottom of the pan in black, which obviously easily washes off. Um, we'll probably do it with the lid on today. And we're using a, an uni cast iron pan. You can pretty much use any cast iron pan. Um, and it has a removable handle which is quite handy for space saving in a van. So for breakfast this morning we're going to have mushrooms, some vegetarian haggis, some hash browns, some veggie sausages and beans. I'm rather hoping it's all going to fit in this pan <laughs> um, but I am going to use one of our standard pans which you can um, on top of this fire as well for the beans. <laughs>